This is Chris O'Brien for Radio Cardiff 98.7 FM on DAB and for Cardiff Fire TV as well. Historic night for Welsh ice hockey here at the Ice Arena Wales this evening. But disappointment for the Cardiff Fire, a defeat 9-11. I almost lost count, an absolute goal fest here. But the aggregate win, 16-14, goes to the Deeside Dragons who win the first Welsh Cup in more than 20 years. I'm joined by head coach Aga Shepherd, captain Lewis Stevens, both on the score sheet tonight. Shep, we'll start with yourself. Disappointing night, your reaction to a pretty mad game of ice hockey. Uh, it's a learning curve, ultimately. Um, we, we play a team who are well established in our NHL 1. This is our first season back after four years. Uh, it's, it's a learning curve, you know. We competed with them all night, going four goals up as well. I thought, hey, we're, we're there. We're you know, probably the best hockey I've seen from a Cardiff Fire team for a long, long time. We, let our, we took our foot off the gas and we only have ourselves to blame there. Um, you know, it's a testament to the lads that when the chips were down, we didn't we didn't battle out of it. We you know we, we carried on battling and we tried to we tried to get back. Ultimately, we fell short. It's frustrating, but there's a lot of positives to take. We have a real good group in that locker room as well. Um, a very young team, and we're only going to get better as well. How important is momentum in a game like this? Because the away leg, three 0 down, looked a lost cause, pulled it back tonight, four up. Then Desai came storming back, but then Fire finished strong as well. It was a real topsy-turvy, two-legged tie. Yeah, absolutely. I think momentum can kill you as well. I think if you if you put all your eggs in one basket, and I mean, it happened to both us and Desai. We stormed to a lead. We stormed to a 4-0 lead on the day, and they stormed to a 3-0 lead on the day up there. We thought the game was pretty much dead and buried, but testament to themselves, to Desai, they came back and battled. And, yeah, to answer your question, momentum can be a killer as well. Yeah, absolutely. Lewis on the score sheet tonight. Congratulations with that, but obviously disappointment. What was it like out there? It looked a feisty game. Yeah, it was a tough game. Um, I think we, we knew we had to start strong against D-side, because D-side, they always start strong. And we experienced the bus legs when we went up to the a slug of a drive, or something like five hours. Um, we knew we had to start strong, and we, and we did that. And fair, you know, credit to them, they, they, they came back with five unanswered goals. Um, Hats off to them. The boys didn't quit. We battled to the end. It's a real shame that we couldn't do it. You know, I thought we added at the end, as, as you guys say about the momentum. I think it's a, it's a key factor. And you know, with such a young team, there's so much promise. I think I just hopefully the boys keep their heads up because we've got three, four more games this season, and we're only going to go from strength to strength. So it's, it's, it's bittersweet. You know, we didn't do enough tonight, unfortunately. But I'm really excited for, for us to right our wrongs and, and grow as the season goes on. Lewis, this game marked the return of the Welsh Cup. A lot of hype pre-match. Obviously, BBC did a preview, which was great to see. What did it mean to see this kind of historic competition come back? And, and what was it like for, for you as captain to play in it? Yeah, it's, 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 it's an honour to, to captain this team anyway. Um, it's such a good, good, good group of boys, and, and Gemma, of course. But uh, to play in a, in, in a Welsh Cup, I think it just, it just makes you feel proud being part of it, you know, the Welsh heritage. and. It's, it's great and I really can't wait for next year. The BBC and the S4C doing their, their bits has just been amazing. The, the crowd turnout tonight were amazing. Um, yeah, it's just a shame we didn't come away with the win, but there's not, not a lot we can do about it now, apart from get them next year. I, I, and I look forward to next year. Just on that point as well, the marketing around, you know, from our office staff, from everyone involved has been has been great from you know from D side up, up in their home leg to us down here, you know, as Lewis said, the S4C, the BBC. Uh, we had Heart Radio as well, thanks yeah. to Aaron Reagan. You know, there was a lot of hype around this game, and I hope it certainly delivered. It felt like it did play in there, and I think the fans really bought into this Welsh Cup, and I think it's just going to go from strength to strength from year to year. It was electric in here tonight, one of the best atmospheres in a couple of seasons. Good following from D side as well, presumably from you both, keen to see this return next season. Absolutely. I've, you know, I've spoke to Mike Clancy, the head coach, and, and Sean Bevington. I think we're very keen to have this as an annual, an annual event. And I think for Welsh hockey, I think it's vital that it is an annual event. Um, obviously, the step up to D1 has been a big learning curve, as, as, as you mentioned. Um, apart from the one game at Stretton, though, Lewis, competitive in every game. Swindon could have gone either way. Obviously, two very hard-fought games against D side. How has that step up been so far? You know, this, this, the step up is it is it is a massive difference from sort of look at the, the bottom end of NIHL two to the top end of NIHL one. The, the, the jump is massive. You know, I, I do believe that the top half of NIHL two can compete with the bottom half of NIHL one. 
and, and the Swindon game last week, you know, we, we were one all going to the third period. We just didn't do enough. You know, I believe we're better than them, and um, we get to play them three more times. So hopefully, yeah. you know, we do the job and we, we take what's the three points a game now. Yeah, so I, th I think we put that performance today to that Swindon, and it would have been a different story. Absolutely. But like the, this, the Welsh Cup, it's like 30 goals, 30 goals across it's two games. It's unbelievable. Yeah, that's unheard yeah. of. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. And I hope the boys keep their heads up because long season. And Shep, some changes to, to personnel and some big individual performances tonight. Danny Williams with a hat trick. You must be pleased to see some of those coming through. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Danny was a, a player I remember playing against when he was at Swindon, and I was impressed by him then. And he was vital to get his signature. Same as Tom Stevens and Aaron Moody. Yeah. You know, two very good players, uh, and we've been fortunate enough to benefit from. Will coming back from OHA, Luther progressing through the um, through the junior ranks as well, and of course keeping our maintaining a lot of our roster as well. Um, it you know our, our ethos is young and feisty and fast, and I think we do have that in abundance this year. Yeah. Uh, and I think you know it's a, it's the mantra that we want to build towards. We're very fortunate, but we do have the sponsorship with B42 as well, who have helped us off the ice to progress to another level on the ice and get us ready for this season and I think the more we do that we'll only get better as well Final question for you Lewis you mentioned 34 more games or something when the fixture list came out I did think wow there are a lot more games this season as a player how does that impact you obviously more travelling more games more, more ice time how are you feeling ahead of that? Um, well, it means no more golf so uh, I, put my golf, <laughs> I put my golf clubs in my uh, dad's garage for the winter um, but no like you know we got we got a, a good Shep's recruited well this year. We, we've got a big roster, and we're going to need it. We're going to need to stick together, and you know, it's a lot of commitment. But all the boys are buying in, and Gemma. Um, yeah, it's a lot of games. I, I just, I don't know. Yeah, it's a lot more games, but the boys are ready for it, and we're committed. We've got um, we've got boys to come back as well. Jasper, who has been great, uh, you know, he's come to every game while well serving his suspension. He's eager to go. He's chomping at the bit. We were missing Louis James tonight as well, who has started the season really well. You wouldn't imagine this is his, as an 18-year-old, this is his first season in NHL 1. Um, on the flip side as well, I thought Jakob Barnwell, 17-year-old, had a great game tonight as well. And it's just a testament to the young ability that we are pushing through to the team. And it's, as I've alluded to previously, it's only going to get better. And Shep, final question. Obviously, it's early stages in the season, but we talked about how Fire have been competitive in three of those four games. What are your ambitions in D1? What are you hoping to do? Is there a target for league placing this season? There's definitely a target. Um, I won't say it just in case we don't, <laughs> we don't, it doesn't come to fruition. But the boys know internally we have a goal. Uh, everyone's bought in, everyone's prepared to battle for that goal as well. And I think it's achievable. You know, from, from scouting, from viewing games, I think that we... The, the target we have set is more than attainable and I you know Lewis is nodding his head next to me because he's in agreement we've had a discussion outside of our, outside of the team as well and we agree um, you know it, 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 there's there's always variables which happen um, which can take it away but I'm confident with the team that we're building and or the team we have built sorry and with just the progression of training the progression of fitness it, we will be there Elias uh, Lewis commiserations tonight but you've both played your part in a Bit of ice hockey history and we're going to get them next year, aren't we? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks both. Yeah.